I mean, it's good either way. We'd like to have a, a bye, you know, more towards the middle of the season. That way you don't have an 11-game stretch like we do. But, you know, this is something you got to deal with, and we'll be ready. Mm-hmm. Robert, we'll talk to Joe about it. Um, you guys didn't play your best but won on the road. Is, is that almost kind of a good thing that, that maybe you weren't at your best the first game? Yeah, we, you know, we played in spurts. We had, you know, moments where we were really, really great and moments where we were just, you know, a little bit mediocre. But uh, it, it's definitely good to come out with a win. You know, no matter how we got it, we got the win. You know, that's a big thing for me. For the first time in over a decade, Baylor's getting recognition in some of the polls. I mean, I know it's not in the poll, but, I mean, is that kind of cool to see Baylor in there? Yeah, you know, I noticed that we got, like, 17 votes, something like that. Hey, at least we got a vote, but, uh, you, know, <laughs> you know, we're not looking at that that much. If we get in there, we get in there, but right now we're just focused on winning games. If you had a vote, where would you put you? Uh, number one, always. <laughs> I think we can, uh, seriously, I think we can beat any team that we, you know, we step on the field with as long as we're playing at our best. Speaking of votes, did you uh, get a chance to vote for Joe for the ESPN All America from the mobile checks in? No, I didn't get to send that in, but you know he's always going to be up there in my vote. Robert, I'm working on a story on the uh, team's offensive creativity. <laughs> Do you like all that stuff, Coach? Those in does it make it kind of fun? Or? Yeah, it makes it fun. Mm-hmm. Uh, definitely, when you win, it uh, makes it worth it. You know, it's fun practicing every day. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's just a part of football. Everybody has a little bit of a trickster in them. And, you know, mm-hmm. Coach Browse has a lot in him, so it's a mixed practice <laughs> fun. Okay. Do players have a lot of that input? I mean, because I know Phil said he has to be, you know, in the backfield. Do you guys get to, you know, make some input on plays or stuff that y'all come up with? Yeah, if we have an idea, we can send it in, but it's not like we're up here writing playbooks and saying, hey, Coach, here you go. <laughs> Take this. No. He, he's pretty smart on his own, but if you give him an idea and you put something in his head, he might work it out, you know, three, four weeks down the road and, right. and put it in, but he's not going to just be like, okay, we're going to run that today, show everybody how to run it. You know, he's going to, you know, get the block scheme down and, and everything that needs to happen for it to work and you know he's, he's really good at that. Robert whose idea was it mine? Uh, not mine but um, <laughs> uh, we, we tried we, we worked on it a little bit last year we didn't do it and uh, this year he just told me to um, you know just step back a little farther and then roll out and kick it but you know, I didn't have to I didn't have to boot it or anything but you know we tried it in practice and it rolled kind of like it did in the game we didn't expect it to go, you know, 59 yards, though, but <laughs> it was, that, that's definitely good. Got one inside the 10 for me. What did you ever I scored you. I didn't punt on varsity, but I, I punted, uh, you know, when I was younger. Okay. And uh, they, they punted me all the way through high school, but I never really punted in the game. Right. But I was decent. I wasn't like Epperson, but right. I was decent. <laughs>